Welcome everyone, Farmer Cobb here. Today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the basics of caring for horses in Farming Simulator 19. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to a guide on horses. So horses are, I think, one of the, they're, they're the new animal to uh, Farming Simulator 19 from the previous version, and I think they're fairly underrated. Um, I normally, in these videos, will keep everything kind of standard. What I mean by that is I don't use mods, but at the very end of this video, there are two mods I think are important to go over that are really good quality of life mods, I think, when doing horses that I'm going to go over. So anyhow, I'll go over those in, those in just a second. Let's jump into it. So first things first, we're going to get a horse pen. If we go into the store here under placeables under animal pens, there are two options base game. Um, there's a $50,000 horse paddock and a $95,000 one, the small and the large. Um, the small one's going to hold eight horses. The large one's going to hold 16. So there you have it. I have the small one over here, the large one over here. They're both basically exactly identical except the large one's a little bit bigger so here's your food trough right here we go around this way water trough here area to place straw in and again we're going to go over all this stuff in more detail then there's usually a gate right here come around here this is the place to buy and sell animals or put them in the pen another gate right there and then if we jump over to if we can another horse pen over here same thing right here where you can put animals in or out you have a gate there Food trough here you can see it's just a little bit wider a little bit more spread out over here water trough place to place straw in and over here we have another gate um, the gates do matter with horses kind of they I guess don't really but we'll go over that in a second so the first things first we need to get some horses there are two ways like every other animal in farming cylinder 19 well except for chickens i suppose um to get animals so first you can come up to this dialogue box and if we open oops the help menu there you'll see up there in the upper left hand corner it says r to open animal dialogue so if you do hit that r you do have several different horse types to choose from horses do not uh breed in farming cylinder 19 base game so you don't have to worry about any of that sort of stuff but you can kind of pick whatever ones you want. So we'll just get one of those and one of those and one of those and here we'll get one of those as well. So there. Now they are each $5,000 to buy and then there's a $100, um, or excuse me, is it 200? I think it's 200. Well, 300, there's $300 transport fee, sorry. It's been a little bit since I've done horses. So there's a $300 transport fee for everyone that's gonna come in here. So um, that fee will apply there. But if I hit confirm, it's gonna charge us $20,000 plus the transport fee. Now there is a second option. So if I go to the animal dealer, which for no man's land is right up here, that's the map I'm on doing this uh, tutorial video for you guys. So if I jump up over to here, you can use a horse trailer to transport them from the animal dealer. So this horse trailer right here is found under the store in the tools under animal transport it is the only one base game that hauls horses and it will hold two horses it is 16 grand so you need to make quite a few trips to make it worth it which i'll explain why that may or may not be worth it depending on how long you're planning to do horses if you're planning to do horses for as long as you possibly can then this is probably worth investing in uh but if you have access to mods which we all do for playing farming Center 19 i'd recommend looking for a bigger trailer if possible so anyhow I come up here, off on the tractor, same thing, we're gonna get R to open animal dialogue up in the upper left hand corner. If I hit R, I can move whatever I want in here. Now, pigs don't go in here, this trailer only will take horses. So none of these animals are gonna go in. So if I go down to horses, we already have a couple of those. So let's get one of these ones here, and we'll get one of these ones here. So it's only gonna charge us $5,000 or five thousand per horse. It's not gonna charge us a transport fee, which is fantastic. And now, all I have to do, and I can unfold that if I want to open it up. I can see the horses in there. Open the cover there. So that's N to open the cover, X to unfold that there. So again, this is not a required portion of doing horses, but this is generally a little bit cheaper of a way to transport animals around is actually manually doing it. So we'll drive this over here. Now if I pull, without crashing, pull right into the dialogue area here, I can hit R again on the keyboard, and I can move these guys over and hit confirm. Perfect. So now we have horses in here and we're going to talk about how you make money in horses and all that stuff in a little bit. So first things first, um, let's talk about actually some of the easier stuff, which I would say is going to be putting straw and water in. So if we go into the menu here under our horses here, so all of these are under separate categories because they're all different horses and they will be anyways, which I'll explain why in a little bit. But 
they're in the same paddock so these things are all going to apply uh the same over here so they need water and straw as well as oat and hay for food so water and straw are pretty easy to get so here i just have the aqua trans behind me i can hit i to overload water in they don't take very much water either so it should be done fairly quickly yep there we go by going to the store under animals this right here is the aqua trans so i'd recommend that you also under placeables here if you need a water source and you can't find one for free on your map you can place this water station which will give you free access to water um, anywhere you place it or if the water source is of course too far away so that's an option for you as well very simple to get water in for them the next thing is to get straw for them so there's two ways to go about this one you can give them loose straw which i have in this trailer here or you can do it in the form of bales now this is the straw trigger here but if i just put bales in there it won't accept them into the pen uh here so what we need to do is make it into a loose form at least it usually does not accept them that way um so what we are going to do is use this straw blower here which i normally don't use this one this one actually unfolds off the back if you want to you can open it up like that to put the straw in so we'll go ahead and do that um, if we go into the store and take a look at a couple things here under animals once again if i move over this is the straw blower i'm using these are also options for you. This one hooks up to the front of a front loader, front of a telehandler, in front of a skid steer loader there. And those are indicated by those symbols there. Skid steer loader, front loader, and tele or telehandler loader. Um, so those are the various options for straw blowers if you wanted to store them in bales. Um, this one's a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to use. Obviously, it's more expensive. So if I hop into this guy right here. Oop, I can actually lift it. That'll work. Not great, but that'll work. I can somehow get this to go into here. There we go. That should do the trick. If I hop out of here, I can fold this up. And now you can see I start overloading straw. And I'm just going to stop right there. Move this out of the way. And the other way to do it is, of course, to do loose, like I mentioned. just like this and you can put straw in that way so there you have it those are the ways to get straw into the pen the next thing we're going to look at is the food so uh for the food which you normally have to use a oops took a screenshot there you normally have to use a front loader to do this but you can if you wanted to put hay bales in directly you can just lift them up and put them into the pen like that now if we go into the menu once again it needs hay and oats and down here like a lot of other animals it's going to have an effectiveness so if you only feed them oats they're going to be 60 percent effective um, and i'll explain what why it's important to try to get 100% effectiveness um, in a second. And then hay over here is 40% effective. So those are the two different options there. I recommend just using both of them. It's not terribly difficult to use both of them. Um, oats, you can either grow yourself or if you go into the store under pallets or big bags, excuse me, there's an oat big bag here, which you can buy. It's going to be cheaper to grow your own, obviously, but that is available for you. And also too, in case you did not know, you can buy hay bales and straw bales inside the Mod Hub store or not the mod hub store inside the end game store uh, right here if you so choose so i have hay here go ahead and dump it in this is just loose another way you can put the hay in it doesn't have to be in the form of a bale i'll wait until it stops taking it and it might take it all but we'll see nope not quite and if i hop over to oats i have oats in this trailer here and you can just move the big bag over here or if you wanted to pick the big bags up and put them in a trailer you can pull up next to a big bag of oats and hit r when you have a trailer like this and it'll fill them up from there and it will take all the oats but if we go into the menu here they're doing pretty good so needs a little bit more oats the hay is okay because well we threw a hay bale in first so they're probably both going to take 22,800 liters um but yeah there you go so everything is taken care of in here now, this is where we get into the, some of the more complex portions of uh, horses. So, horses, you make money off of them. They don't breed at all. So, the way you make money off of them is by training them and then selling them for a higher value. So, this is their, their training bar right here. So, once this hits 100%, every, all the horses will be worth $50,000. So, they're worth they're quite a bit of investment, but they're, they're worth quite a bit. I believe it's over the course of, I want to say, 10 days if i'm correct 10 days mid game if you ride them 100 percent every day and down here we have the horse's health which will be affected by not having some different of the stuff that they need over here if they don't have some of these items then their health will be affected and then at the bottom we have their cleanliness so every day in game in order to get horses to train up overnight you need to actually go in and ride them 
each and each and every one of them so if i come up to one i can hit e to ride it and it'll get me into this form right here so i have yankee here which by the way if we actually go into the menu here if i wanted to rename yankee i can hit rename and i can do whatever i want oop i had caps lock on so it looked a little ghetto but <laughs> that's okay oh and it disappeared so if you hop off it in the pen it may go somewhere else but hop back on here um, so training them, you have to ride them for five minutes and not, that's not in game five minutes. That's real life five minutes per horse, which can be quite time consuming. As you can imagine, they will just walk over gates or you can open the gates like that or they'll walk over fences, excuse me. So in order to get them to move, I'm not touching any of my keyboards or anything like that. Um, I just hit W once to move it forward at this speed, W again, the next speed. If I open up the help menu, it'll show a little bit more there. That's a canter, then a gallop. And now I can lower it back down if I want to go all the way back down and then I can walk backwards. So it doesn't matter. Sometimes what I used to do when the game first came out is I'd put it like this and then I get up, go make myself a cup of coffee, go get, you know, something to eat, something like this. Just let this go. Just like that. Now, if I go into the menu here, right here, you see a 13% down here. That is the daily riding. So once this hits hundred percent, you're done and it's slowly going up. Ignore the value, the value is going down a little bit. As we ride it around, the cleanliness is going down. So in order just for the sake of time, I'm gonna ride this back around and we're gonna go back into the end here. And you can also jump if you want, hitting spacebar. So it's kind of fun. If you wanted to simulate stuff or do some sort of role play sort of thing, you can do that. And I can hop off it and we're back in the pen. So daily riding's at 23%. But I do now have to clean this horse. So if I walk up to it while it's in the pen, I can hit left mouse button to clean it and it should be clean now. So that part's easy. It gets cleaned up pretty fast. Sometimes you have to click a couple times. Now the value, it usually goes up by a few thousand dollars a day. Um, obviously this here is not uh, gonna go up that much because I only wrote it 23%. But if I do fast forward time a little bit for us, just so we can get past midnight. Six seven and eventually we'll get there there we go and actually it uh <laughs> it ended up riding them all up to a hundred percent which we'll just use that as a segue to bring me into the mod i was going to talk about so that essentially is how you make money off of them then you can sell them for 50 grand uh, when they're done but i have global company installed which under global company and the base global company there's a horse helper and it's 300 dollars per horse per day so if i turn that off it won't work or won't be on but if i turn that on every day it will ride all my horses to full full uh full riding ability or full riding time um for 300 bucks a horse which i know some people think that's cheating or whatever the case may be you can play it how you want. It's a pretty easy way to do horses if you want to do that. And now I will say as well, my second mod that I love to use is right over here. It is this guy right here. And if we look in the store, this is a, just another horse pen. Under placeables, animal pens, we go all the way down to the end here. Oop, maybe not the end. Right here, this horse paddock right here. Um, it's in the mod hub, it's $8,000. It only holds, holds two horses, but it's a great just to have horses kind of running in the background to make you some extra money. Um, this is a great, very inexpensive option. Water goes there. Um, this is the gate. You can open it down. You can put horses in and out right there. I can't, I always get these two confused, but one's going to be for your straw and one's your uh, hay and oats, but I always get them confused. So I won't even try to make a statement about which one's which. But uh, yeah, so that's everything basically about horses that I think you guys need to know. Um, there is no mess, so you don't have to clean them up at all. There's nothing that's ever going to come out of the food trough here, which is very nice. They're very clean animals, not in real life, but in the game they are. Um, so yeah, they got some nice features to them. It's just something a little bit different. So if you're looking for, uh, something that you haven't done before and you haven't done horses before, then I encourage you to try them, but they're a great way to make money. Um, I will say this though, that mod over there, that horse pen is available on consoles. Global company is not available on consoles. So it's kind of difficult. There's not a horse helper mod that's available for consoles, but, uh, anyhow, guys, that is everything for me for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.